North Korea is not only battling its first confirmed explosive outbreak of COVID-19, but it says it is also grappling with drug shortages. State media reported that the country's leader, Kim Jong-un, has ordered the immediate deployment of the military to stabilize the distribution of medicine in the capital, Pyongyang. Kim, who was seen visiting pharmacies on Sunday, told an emergency Politburo meeting that drugs procured by the state were not reaching people quickly or accurately. He added that pharmacies were not well equipped to perform their functions smoothly, state news agency KCNA said. KCNA added that Kim had criticized the irresponsible work attitude, organization and execution by the cabinet and the public health sector. President of neighboring South Korea, Yoon suk yeol has said he is willing to help. If North Korea responds, we will spare no medicines including COVID-19 vaccines, medical equipment and health personnel. Seoul's Unification Ministry, which is responsible for cross-border relations, said it had proposed working-level talks to provide medical supplies, including vaccines and test kits, as well as technical cooperation. But it added that the North had not received its message. Amid the medical shortages, North Korean state media has encouraged residents to use painkillers and antibiotics to treat symptoms. It has also encouraged home remedies, including gargling salt water and drinking herbal teas. Previously, state media has suggested using burdock root as a cure while downplaying the effectiveness of vaccines. Pyongyang residents had their own ideas of how to tackle the virus. I had my faith that this could be cured if we have accurate treatments. I also think we can definitely overcome it by ventilating the house regularly and cleaning it while having a proper workout. For kids, they tend to move a lot even if they have a fever. So they just run around and play for 30 minutes if I turn on children's dancing songs. North Korea previously claimed no confirmed cases of COVID-19. It is only one of two countries in the world that is yet to begin a COVID vaccination campaign, according to the World Health Organization. North Korea's tally of the fever-stricken stood at over 1.2 million, with 50 deaths by Sunday, according to KCNA. It did not say how many suspected infections had tested positive for COVID-19. The North has blamed a large number of the deaths on people who were careless in taking drugs, due to a lack of knowledge about the Omicron variant and its correct treatment.